Hi guys and welcome to Cultonomics. My name is Paul Hanley and today I'm going to be chatting to you about Keynesian versus Classical Views of the Economy. In this video I'm going to present an overview of macroeconomic historical events for the past hundred years and introduce the concepts of classical and Keynesian economics. So classical economics is most synonymous with Adam Smith who lived during uh, the 18th century and his ideas would be based around laissez-faire or a lack of government intervention that uh, people being rational and selfish would actually going about their own business be to the benefit of the entire society. On the Keynesian side is John Maynard Keynes who lived during the late 19th early 20th century and his idea would be for more interventionist stance from especially the government and management of a macro economy rather than leaving it unregulated. Now we know already that we have the classical view emanating from Adam Smith, but we also have the Keynesian view, the opposing view of intervention from John Maynard Keynes. And we can see that these were uh, drove policy reactions to various economic crises over time. So with the classical view, we have a laissez-faire policy, which is non-government intervention. So governments should not intervene because the economy is automatically stabilizing. This is in contrast to the Keynesian view of government intervention, which looks at demand side policies of managing the economy. Under the classical view, we assume rational self-interest, and this will lead to the benefit of everyone, the self-interest. Keynes took uh, a different approach and looked at animal spirits, emotions and emotive concepts and how this drove the economy. Under the classical view, we also had the assumption of free markets clear that wages and prices are fully flexible. So in the long run, supply is driven by labor and capital, etc. Whereas Keynes's view was that uh, prices and wages are sticky, that they're inflexible in the short run and that markets may not clear for a number of years. In the classical view, we had the, the fact that the aggregate supply curve is vertical in the long run, that money and nominal variables don't have an impact on real variables such as GDP. Uh, so monetary policy shouldn't work, whereas in Keynes's view, the aggregate supply curve is upward sloping. And this means that when prices go up, yes, supply does go up as well, which denotes a role for uh, fiscal policy. Classical view, the economy is self-stabilizing, it's automatic adjustment based on a real wage. Real wage will fall during a recession. Uh, and aggregate supply will increase. Whereas the Keynesian view is that because there's a short term output gap, for example, during a recession, you need expansionary fiscal policy, a counter cyclical policy in that case, to manage the economy and the government steps in. The class classical view would emphasize supply side policies, not demand. And we can look at those in a minute in terms of what they would entail, whereas the Keynesian view would look at demand side policies, so fiscal policy, uh, government spending, reductions in taxation, depending on a fiscal multiplier effect. Government spending's multiplied up in the economy. So the classical view then, just to concentrate on it somewhat more, these supply side measures, there are two different types of them. The first one is market orientated. So this is trying to make the market more flexible. And what they believe in is reform of tax and welfare. So maybe reduce unemployment benefits so people are incentivized to go back to work. Flexible labor markets where wages can drop. Reduction in government spending and privatization and deregulation. So de or liberalize the economy. Their interventionist policies then would be based around infrastructure investment for the supply side investment in education and training to increase uh, availability for jobs, R&D, and regional and industrial policies, maybe subsidies for companies as well setting up. I hope you call back to Cultonomics soon. Bye for now.